simple crochet border stitch. You'll see it here on a blanket I just recently finished and I really like how it finishes off the piece. Um, it's just a one stitch repeat um, and you can do as many rows as you want. So it's very versatile um, and super easy to use. So let's go ahead and get started. Okay, and for my example today, I just did a couple rows of a double crochet uh, to to get to show the um, example today. But if you are using this, and say you're using the same yarn from your blanket and going into the border, um, what you could do is instead of joining with a slip stitch like I'm going to do, you're actually just going to be doing the chain one, and then you can go ahead and get going on it. Um, but for the example that I have today. Um, because I'm using a different color yarn, we're going to actually first join with a slip stitch and then we'll do the chain one. So just situate my yarn here and I'm just going to go start a couple stitches away from the corner here. So I'm going to take this stitch and go ahead and insert my hook and yarn over and pull up a loop and then yarn over and pull through the loop on my hook. Okay, so now I am attached to my piece here. So now we're gonna go ahead and begin with the herringbone half double crochet stitch. Um, and again, like I had said, you're gonna be doing this in every row, um, in every, excuse me, in every stitch along each side of the blanket there or whatever piece you're doing it for. So you're gonna yarn over and you're gonna go ahead and insert your hook into the next stitch, just like that. You're gonna yarn over and pull up and you have three loops on the hook. Now what you're going to do is you're actually going to take that first loop and you're going to pull it through the second loop on the hook. And you'll see I have a little bit of yarn stuck here. Hang on a minute. There. So that um, is what you want to do. So pull that first loop through the second loop like I just did. And now I'm going to yarn over. I'm going to pull through both loops on the hook. And so that is one herringbone half double crochet done. So let's do that again. We're going to do it into the next stitch now. So yarn over and then insert your hook into the next stitch. And then you're going to yarn over and you're going to pull up a loop. You'll see you have three loops on the hook. You're going to take this first loop here and you're going to pull it through the second loop just like that. And now you'll see there's two loops on the hook and you'll yarn over and pull through both loops. Okay, so let's do another one. So yarn over and insert your hook and then yarn over and pull up a loop to have three loops on the hook. Pull the first loop through the second loop and then yarn over and pull through the last two loops on the hook. So I'm going to go ahead and continue across the row here. Um, I'll meet you back at the corner to show you how to do the corner piece here because it is just a little bit slightly different. You have to add in extra stitches um, to account for the corner. So I'll meet you back. Okay, so I am now at the corner, and so we're going to, like I said, do something a little bit differently here. Um, what we're actually going to do is we're going to do three herringbone half double crochets into this corner stitch. So three of them instead of one. And that's what will help us round out the round off um, on the corner here. So yarn over and insert your hook into the corner space. And then yarn over and pull up a loop, three loops on the hook. You pull that first loop through the second loop. And I got a little bit of yarn left behind here. Hang on a minute. There we go. And then yarn over and pull through the other two loops on the hook. Okay. So now that's one. So we're going to go ahead and do two more like that. So yarn over and insert your hook. And you have three loops. Pull the first loop through the second loop. And then yarn over and pull through the last two. We're going to do one more of those. So yarn over and insert your hook. And then yarn over and pull up a loop. Pull the first loop through the second loop and then yarn over and pull through the other two. So that is how you're going to do the corners for the herringbone double crochet. Um, doesn't matter what, what row you're on, you're going to continue with just three in each corner. And then like I had mentioned earlier, again, you're going to do a herringbone half double crochet in each stitch across. Um, because this is a double crochet here, I would do, you know, two per each row here um, just because that would help to fill that out then. And then again, in the corners, you're gonna be doing the three um, herringbone half double crochets. And then I'm gonna meet you back at the, the end here to show you how to just finish off um, with the row and how you can start the next row. So I'll meet you back um, when I get to this the end here of the first round. Okay, so I have finished my first round for the herringbone half double crochet, and now I'm back at the beginning here. So what I want to do here is I'm actually, to finish off this round, I'm just going to go ahead and slip stitch into the first stitch here, that chain one you made. So insert your hook, and then yarn over and pull up a loop, or pull through a loop, and then pull through the loop on your hook. 
and then that will finish off round one. And then what you'll do, um, to, if you want to do more than one round, is you're going to go ahead and you're going to chain one. And then you're going to go ahead and you're just going to start with the herringbone half double crochet in that first stitch here. So yarn over and insert your hook and yarn over and pull up a loop. Pull the first loop through the second loop and then yarn over and pull through the two loops. So that's how you would continue on with however many rounds you want. Um, so I'm going to lay this down here so you can kind of see what it looks like fully. So that's that's it. It's like I said, really easy once you get the hang of it. Um, so it's, it's a lot of fun. It really helps to finish off a piece. Uh, I hope you enjoyed today's tutorial. Please like and subscribe for future ones. Thanks. Have a great day.